It's a great day. My name is Shay Brown and I help entrepreneurs make more sales with less effort because when you make more sales, you make more money, which means you can live your purpose, live your passion and truly live your dreams. And today I'll be solving one problem and one problem only. And that is how do I connect with my prospects? and speak their language. One of the challenges that's out there today, and maybe you've wondered this as well, I know I did when I started back in 2004 and I was sitting down in front of someone, or many cases I was on the phone, my mind was racing and spinning and I was thinking, I hope they understand me, um, I, I hope they, they know I'm in their corner, I really hope they get it. And while I was doing that, there was something else that was going on too. Uh, let me make sure I connect this to the group. And uh, hold on a minute. Hold on. Just one second. There you go. I'm, I'm, I'm making sure that I've connected and that you guys can see me because I'm here. You're there. So <laughs> right now I'm just going to go over here. Make sure one that you can see me. Let me see here. Make sure it should pop up in a second. There we are, that we are live. Just wanted to make sure of that, by the way. Okay, back to what I was talking about. I'm having a conversation in person over the phone, and I'm wondering, maybe you wondered, have I connected with that person? Um, do they understand what I'm saying? I wonder what type of, I used to say buyer they were. I know, I'm so embarrassed. I would say buyer. And I didn't have the distinction back then that I didn't have to sell anyone anything. All I had to do was help them solve a problem. I just didn't have that distinction. And then after leaving money on the table, day after day, week after week, month after month, it finally dawned on me. There had to be a formula. Now I would look for just one solution and then I would look over here for another solution. Then I would look over here for another solution. And then I found out it wasn't just one thing. It was a series of things. Um, it was a recipe, if you would. And once I cracked that code, I said, well, how can I teach what I've learned to other folks? So I went out, as I shared before, and this is, by the way, if you're just joining on, welcome over, welcome over. This is personality-based sales, revenue talks. We're solving one challenge today, which is how do I connect and how do I speak to my prospect in their language after I've understood their personality type. Now there are four type of personality types. In the early episode, we talked about the conductor and what they're looking for. And I shared three perspectives. How do you define a conductor? How do, how do, you, how do you spot them? How do you know you're speaking to them? And how do you sell to them? You might be wondering, Shay, how did you even think about this? I'm just joining on. Was there another personality? Yeah. There was personality number two, and yesterday, at this moment, I'll be releasing personality number three. Now, if you didn't get number one, you didn't get number two, you definitely want number four because you've never been in a conversation to kind of understand your prospects' personalities, then I want you to go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Just look below right now, hit the subscribe button, and I'll make sure that these episodes are sent directly to you, and you'll get the bonus. You'll get the bonus, the keys to success. You're gonna get the bonus, which are the keys to success. And I'll make sure you get that. So you and I, we're gonna be together. We're gonna be connected. Now, back to what I was saying. So I went out and I, I studied some of the best of the best in my industry. We call them the sales millionaires. These are the people in the top 1% of the sales industry. They earn over $500,000 a year in commission sales. Wow, yeah, $500,000 a year or more. And I was trying to figure out what they were doing. So I would go out and I would study them. I would speak to them. Um, in, in some cases, I would research and just try to find the best I could so I could learn about them and, and what they were doing. And I determined something that they didn't know. Kind of what Dr. Moyne, who has a PhD in psychology, when he started teaching sales scripting language, he would study them and he knows that they had patterns. There were things they were saying. Well, I did the same thing. I noticed that when they were talking to prospects, these prospects had a pattern. They had a system. Um, there were certain characteristics they had. And I said, if I could boil it all down and take what psychologists have learned, studying people, studying their emotions, um, studying their connectors, 
understanding their psychology, if I could take that, bundle it with what I have been learning in the industry for 12 years, working with my clients and working with folks and their clients, what if I could bring the two together? And there would be this power, there would be this sales personality type that would just explode. What if I could do that? And I've done it. I put together my own topics, I bundled it together, I squeezed it out, and I'm teaching personality-based sales so you can speak to your ideal client. You can have a sales conversation so you can connect right here, baby, or right here, or right here, or right here. But you can connect with your prospect, you can collaborate, work together to solve their problem, work together to solve their problem, and number three, you could close the deal. Let's call them the three C's. Connect, collaborate, close. Connect, collaborate, close. Connect, what? Collaborate and close, that's right. So let's talk about personality type number three. Now why do you wanna know this? Why do I need to know personality-based sales, Shay? So when you're speaking to someone, your conversations are briefer. You have more clarity. You connect on an emotional level. You help solve their problem. You speak their language. You make more sales with less effort. And I'm on a mission to help 10 million sales professionals over the next 10 years make more sales with less effort. I can't wait. If that's you, if you're ready to better yesterday, if you want today to be better than yesterday, if every morning you wake up and say, how can I do something different? I'm open to change. I'm open to expanding my comfort zone. I'm open to the new knowledge, Shay, new technology. That's what I'm bringing. If that's you, right below, right below, type these words. Type these words. Just hit, hit, hit the share button. Hit the share button. Hit the share button and type these words. I am ready. That's all. Hashtag, I am ready. Hashtag, I am ready. Hashtag, I am ready. Go ahead and type that right now. Hit the share button. Type that right now. I'm going to connect with you. I'm going to give you a free gift. And together, we're going to rock and roll. Together, we're going to make some things happen. All right. I'm excited. Here we are. Personality type number three. Number three. Here we go. What is it? Personality number three is the architect. Shay, what are you saying, Shay? Let me make sure. I, oops, see, you hit the wrong button. What are you saying? I'm saying the architect. So we first started with the conductor, then we went to the rock star, and now, hello, hello, personality type number three of four at Revenue Talks is the architect, and the architect has a whole different personality. The architect is someone that's entirely different than the conductor who gets to the bottom line, only cares about getting results, the rock star who wants to, wants to get creative ideas, connect with you on an emotional level, wants to build trust. The architect, well, they're a little different. No, they're not really different. Well, we're all different in some way, aren't we? All in some way, in shape, or form. But jot this down in your notes. This is important. The architect is concerned with others' well-being. That's right. They're concerned for others. What is their well-being? What are they concerned about? They want to know how will others feel if you work with them. See, this is how we define the architect. Define the architect. We know they're concerned about others. They want to solve problems, but they want others to feel the impact. That's right, feel the impact on the problems that, that they're really solving. Another area that I really like about the architect is the, is the architect, well, they're creative. They're outgoing. They're spontaneous. They're relying on their intuition. If there was one note that you could write, is that they rely on their intuition. But keep in mind that they are creative. Keep in mind that they're outgoing. Keep in mind that they're very spontaneous. And while they're concerned about other folks, they're willing to trust their gut. And maybe you're having a conversation with someone and they start using the words where, I feel what you're saying in my gut. I believe you're speaking to me. I like your creative genius. Ah, you may not, you may be speaking to the architect. I make decisions based on how I feel or my own intuition. Working with someone recently, and maybe you've had this experience, and they said one of the reasons they decided to work with us, and this is with Team PPI, $25,000 product, wire payment into the bank account. 
And when I asked the question, what's one of the reasons you took a step? They said, my intuition, my gut. It felt good. Now, we had to support it, obviously, with some facts and some data and what we were going to do. But I, I knew when we were talking to this person that they were too creative, that, that, that when I was defining what type of prospect, that they were concerned about others. This person's on a mission to help women who've been abused. They're on a mission to eradicate abuse here in the United States. And if the person is in that situation, they want them to know how they can identify that situation, how they can get help, and how they can get out. And they're trusting us to deliver that message. And that's an honor, that's a privilege to serve. But that would not have been possible. Maybe if I didn't know that that was an architect. The next idea I want to share when you define them is they value mutual respect and loyal friendship. So they're in it for the long haul. This isn't a, a one and done. This isn't a short. This isn't, oh, well, I'm here today, but I'll be gone tomorrow. No, no, no. This is them hanging in there with you. Now, we're talking about personality-based sales. How do you speak to your ideal client? How do you do three things? How do you connect right here? How do you collaborate, work together, work together? And when it makes sense, how do you close the deal? By having what? A sales conversation. And all of your marketing, all of your branding, all of your automation, all of your knowledge, all of your efforts have got you to this moment. And you want to know who you're speaking to. You want to be able to define who they are. And once you do, you say, okay, Shay, I, I, I know how to spot, I know what I'm looking for, but how do I spot them? How do I know who they are? How do I identify what are the words they'll be using? Talk to me, Shay. I'm here today. I'm giving you the best ideas. How do you spot them? They're enthusiastic. They want to bond with you and feel connected. I mentioned that a little bit earlier. The person felt connected. And most importantly, they said, Shay, I'm trusting my intuition. See, they speak in statements. Then I ask you, are you the right person? You might get that from the rock star, but not the architect. The architect is giving you a statement. This feels good. I believe you were sent here for me. Where have you been the last five years? I didn't know you existed. Just like you, right now, in this conversation, in this moment, talk about personality-based sales, taking what I learned from psychologists, from the sales millionaires, from my own experience, and Lord, I've left some money on the table. I'm here to tell you, I've left big bucks, probably a million dollars in my career so far on the table because I didn't know this. And then my clients who I work with every single day, see, I live, I breathe, I sleep sales. I see everything through a sales lens and I bundled and said, okay, these are the personalities. Here are four. And here's how you can define them. Here's how you can spot them. I even said, they're going to be speaking a statement. See, isn't it good for you to know that? Maybe something you didn't know before. Then you might be saying, Shay, You've defined them. You're welcome, and, and thank you for being here. Thank you for sharing. For, for the person to type, I am ready, if you want to get all four of the personality-based sales episodes, you're only on episode three now. There was a one and a two. There will be a four. You missed it here at Revenue Talks, where we talk about generating revenue. If that's you, and you're like, Shay, I'm ready. Shay, I'm ready. Shay, I'm ready. Hit the subscribe button. Just hit the subscribe button right now and you'll get notified and you'll receive the video recordings. That's my gift to you, just for showing up. I'm gonna help you. Together, we're gonna help each other. Okay, so how do you sell to them, Shay? Good question. Let me get some water while I'm doing this. How do you sell to them? You stress? Mm. Ah, the water's good. You emphasize an ongoing relationship. See, they're not in it for the short term, they're in it for the long term. Um, they're in it not for this transaction, but for future transactions. So what do you have to do when you sell to them? You stress that this is a baby step. You stress that this is our first time, or second time, or third time, or you share that, you know what, I'm looking for many, many, many more times that I can help you when it makes sense, or at least be at the table to bid on the opportunity. See, that's, that's the key there. See, that's, that's the key in this conversation. How am I at the table so when you have a problem, you at least let me put my solution in front of you? You've got to stress that. That's going to be very 
important than them. That's more important than anything else. How do you sell to an architect? You got to explain to them something that's very important, that they're making a decision. I talked to you in the beginning that the architect is concerned about the well-being of others. So if they're concerned about the well-being of others, if you're selling to them, hear me, hear me, wouldn't it make sense if you were selling to them that you stressed how solving this problem, um, the solution that you're offering, um, this way to make their life better, by doing that, it's going to do greater good to someone else. Uh, I was working with someone before, and they sell office supplies. They're an architect. He's an architect by every sense of the word, architect. You mind if I get some water here? Hope, I really hope you don't mind. We're just kind of hanging out. I'm a little thirsty. and mm. Hanging out with you. You're hanging out with me, and today we're talking about personality-based sales. We're talking about RevenueTalks.com. I'm teaching you the four personality types so you can identify them. So you can do three things. You can connect at a deeper level. You can let them know it's a collaboration. And, and lastly, but more importantly, you can close the deal. So I'm talking to this person, and they're an architect. And I was there to help them make more sales. They work with procurement officers. 80% of their revenue comes from the federal government. The other 20% comes from um, um, commercial or small businesses. And I share with this person that by their sales team being able to set more appointments with procurement officers or with entrepreneurs, that they were going to feel better. That they were going to have greater confidence that it would give them more opportunities to know they were doing a greater good, that they were able to solve a problem. Folks sitting around that were ordering office supplies, they still wanted to talk to someone. Although some of it was done online, in many cases, they wanted the contract because they used multiple people. And he said, Shay, I want to do something for my team. He never said, Shay, I want to put more money in their pocket. That's, that's not what this architect said. What this architect said was, Shay, I want to help my team. I want them to feel good when they come to work every day. I want them to know that we care. And so I shared the mindset that they would have to have, and it made a huge difference. And I'm not saying that's the only reason I got the deal. That was a contract we had for about two and a half years. But looking back, if I didn't know that he was an architect, would I have spoke his language? It's possible. Maybe I got lucky. People hit the lottery every single day. But the fact that I knew the type of personality that he had, all my training taught me that's what he had, I was able to give the best sales logical argument that I possibly could at that moment in time. And that is the secret to personality-based sales. But I hear you. You're like, Shay, thanks for sharing with me how to sell. You're taking notes right now. You're you're writing down right now exactly what you have to do, and that's important. But I want to do something for you because you showed up. And I want to, I want to share with you, if I can, step by step, exactly what you can do to connect with them at a human level. Look, look, well, I kind of stepped, I hit this on my side, but I said concern and then connect with them. You want to be with them on a human level. You've got the conductor. They're different. Let's draw another red line. You've got the rock star. They're different. And you have the architect. So I'll share, how do I interact with them? Can you give me three ideas? Sure. Why not? You're here. And I'm on a mission to help, what, 10 million sales professionals over the next 10 years make more sales with less effort. That's why we're here at RevenueTalks.com. RevenueTalks.com. Make sure you claim your free bonus gift, by the way. The bonus gifts are amazing. They really are. Okay. Revenue Talks interact with sales personality types. We're in overtime now. We're in bonus. Now, you didn't get number one. You didn't get number two. You definitely want number three. And here's why. This is another key to crack the code for working with someone's personality. And how do you get that? You can subscribe. Just hit the subscribe button right now, and I'll make sure the video is sent to you. Architect, a couple things you want to do. Number one, when you interact with them, you want to present the big picture. What's the big picture? 
but you're going to use the emotional benefits. You're going you, you're gonna to share with them, look, this is how it impacts everyone that's involved. Because they're concerned. They don't want someone over here to feel bad and someone over here to feel good. So you got to make sure you connect the dots for them, for, for lack of a better term. And that's going to be important to them. Number two, number two, you got to show them the proof. No, I, I mean this. You've got to show them the proof. Testimonials, um, by way of videos, by, by way of letters. Well, we know nothing sells like success. So what's one idea you can use? You could use a story technique. Um, nothing sells like success. You can use a three-step approach. This is called social proofing or third-party endorsement. Write that down in your notes. Social proofing or third-party endorsement. And if you're ready to make this your best year ever, as I'm saying this, Go ahead and hit the share button. Hit the share button right now and put hashtag, I'm ready to go. Hashtag, I am ready. All right, three steps. Step number one, this is where the client was prior to working with you. So I've talked about my friend or my prior client who owned an office supply company. This is where he was. He wanted to get more appointments. Step number two, this is what they did. They met with me. They took a step. In taking that step, identified through several conversations, he was an architect, he wanted to help his team not make more money, but feel good about themselves, feel good about the organization, feel good about coming to work every day. That was important. He wanted to connect on a human level. I knew that. And step number three, see, this is where they were, this is what they did. Step number three, this is where they are today. In this case, he set more appointments. Attrition went down. People were happier. It was a much better environment. It wasn't a dirty word to work in the sales department. So we got to present the big picture. We got to show them. And most importantly, there's one idea I will leave with you when you interact with them. And it goes true for a lot of folks. It really does. But for the architect, it's the key to success. You got to recognize them as being important to make a change for someone else. Let me say that again real slow. You got to recognize them, the, the prospect, the architect, wants to be seen as important in making the change on a human level, and that's important. And, and we talked about that a little earlier when I, when I went over that, and, and, and I shared it with you because sometimes that's left out. Now, that's not the only reason they buy. But when you weave these tactics together, you weave them together, you have a strategy, you bring them all together, you have the recipe, you have the formula that will help you connect sales conversation, help you collaborate, this is a sales conversation, and help you close. That's the big picture. You, you can do this. You now have three of the personality types here at revenuetalks.com. There will be a fourth episode but in order to get the fourth episode, you have to subscribe. You have to do what? You have to subscribe. And if you do that, you'll get the fourth episode. I, I just want you to know that I, I'm doing this with you in mind. You, the entrepreneur. You, the business owner. You, the person that gets up every single day to help someone else solve a problem. You that took this path to financial freedom by solving problems. See, you already have a big heart. You, you've got the right product. You've got the right passion, you're on your why, but you want to make more sales with less effort and understanding the personality type in your conversation will bring the clarity that you want for you and it makes it so much easier for the other person as well. I want you to know you're a champion. You really are. Um, you're a winner. You're someone that's special. Um, you have this unique gift and you want to share your gift with the world, and I want to help you share your gift with the world. You've got so much greatness. You've got so much potential. And I want you to know that, that I, I, Shay Brown, I believe in you. Even if right now in your struggles, you're saying, Shay, that's not true. Even if right now you're doing really, really well, and you're trying to get to that next level. You're doing well. Life is good. You want to get to the next level. You're not sure you can. I want you to know that I, I, Shay Brown, I believe in you. And even if you don't believe in yourself right now, I want you to wake up every single day you get up, every single day you get up, every single day you get up. I want you to tell yourself that Shea Brown, he holds the belief for me because I'm going to hold the belief for you until you get there because you're special. 
With that being said, I want you to do three things. Three things that close out. Three things. Number one, be humble. Always be willing to serve and help other folks. Number two, number two, stay hungry. Always be learning. When do you stop learning? You never, ever, ever, ever stop learning. And number three, number three, you got to hustle. You got to give your best. Only you know what your best is. But you know one thing, you can be better today than you were yesterday. You do that. And you will make the rest of your life the best of your life. With that being said, my name is Shea Brown, the sales cardiologist. Make it a great day, everyone. And I'm going to tell you something. We're going to make good things happen. We connect again next time. Hey, I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.